World Health Organization, one person dies of a rabies infection every 15 minutes. This may be easily prevented. Rabies vaccines may be used by almost everyone, including pregnant women. Rabies is endemic in South Africa, with most cases transmitted by dogs. Dr. Nasiha Sufi, medical head at Sanufi Pasteur Vaccine South Africa, joins us now. Very good morning to you. Thank you for having me. It's a staggering me. number, isn't it? One Absolutely. In every 15 minutes. Yes, indeed. And it's preventable. 100% preventable, yes. Right, okay, so how do we go about preventing it for a start? Certainly vaccines, vaccines, vaccines. So as with any infection, vaccines are have a high impact in terms of reducing the burden of disease, not only rabies infection, most infections, if not wiping off uh, diseases entirely, as we have seen in smallpox and so forth. So certainly with rabies infection, 100% preventable using vaccines. Uh, if you are, for instance, a vet uh, who is dealing with animals on a daily basis as part of your profession, you would be at high risk of acquiring a rabies infection, in which case you would be strongly recommended to take a vaccine. Uh, if you have a child at home who loves animals, certainly you would want to get your child vaccinated. If you're traveling to a rabies endemic area, then again, vaccinated, but cert vaccination will certainly be indicated for you. Um, if you've just been bitten by a rabid animal, uh, we would also give you the vaccine post-exposure. Mm. Uh, tell us what rabies is. Okay, so, so rabies is actually a viral infection. It's a bug. Uh, it infects animals and humans. The problem comes in when, for instance, you are a pet owner and your dog happens to become infected with the rabies virus. The dog bites you and the virus then gets transmitted from the saliva of the animal into the wound site and then very quickly spreads to your brain. When it gets to your brain, that is when you start to see the signs and symptoms which are very typical of rabies. So a change, change in behavior, aggression, fear of water, fear of wind, uh, and so forth, hallucinations, confusion. At that point, when you start seeing symptoms typical of rabies, it's too, le it's too late to treat. The patient will most certainly succumb to the illness and die of the rabies infection. And what sort of time period is that? So the incubation period uh, is usually about six weeks, but it can go on to about three months. So when you've just been bitten for about three months, you may not show any signs or symptoms of the infection. It's only when it actually reaches the brain, then you start seeing the more typical symptoms of a rabies infection. Well, absolutely frightening, isn't it? So, I mean, if you've been bitten by a dog, regardless of, of the dog or where it comes from, whatever it is, you, you must... Certainly. Uh, what about the financial implications for those who can't afford it? This is a sad fact. Uh, the reality is we're living in a low resource setting. In South Africa, there are funding constraints. Ideally, we would prefer to vaccinate every dog, every pet owner. If this were feasible, we would certainly uh, uh, implement. But if you can afford the rabies vaccine, certainly do not hesitate, do not deliberate, get the vaccine. Do you think people are aware of this? I think there is a certain level of awareness, but I think that we have a lot more to do in terms of awareness campaigns, reaching out to the public. Really, uh, if, you, if you look at the stats, one person dies of a rabies infection every 15 minutes. So during the course of this interview, one person will die of rabies. Mm. But I just don't think that it receives the attention it deserves. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us about it today. And uh, it, yeah, a very important public notice. Nasiha Sufi, thank you. Thank